Hello students and welcome again to today's lesson. My name is Mr. Mesha Ngige and welcome to E Maths with Ngige. So kindly remember that maths is not read, maths is done. So today we're going to be checking a very uh, it's not a very new topic to us. Uh, that is matrices two, and we're going to be checking something called the Egan values and the Egan vectors that is found in module three in uh, engineering mathematics. So kindly remember to subscribe, share, and also comment. So we have a question that is uh, from the math series uh, 2023. Determine the eigen values and the corresponding eigen vectors for the matrix uh, A 4 2 3 3. Now let's check the solution for this. So the solution. So now when you're solving uh, the eigen values and the eigen vectors, the first step what you do is you write down uh, the equation. So we have an equation given by A minus lambda i, then have the matrix uh, the vector here this should give you uh, should give you zero now we have this part of the matrix and it is always called the characteristic matrix uh, equation sorry so we have this so we have the characteristic equation will be given by the determinant of this part all right so when you have so the ce so you always start by finding the ce which is given by a minus lambda i then the determinant of that equals to zero so this means you will take your matrix A, then you subtract another matrix. Remember, we have a value lambda here, which is a constant. Then we have the identity matrix. And uh, so we have a matrix A, then subtract lambda of an identity matrix, which will be given by, so this part here, A minus lambda I, will be given by, our matrix A is given by 4, 2, 3, then we have 3, then minus, now we have our lambda and we have our matrix I, uh, I identity matrix is given by 1 0 0 then we have we have one there all right now we subtract now remember this one is a constant when you have a constant outside of a matrix it multiplies everything inside the matrix so this one can also be simplified to become 4 uh, so we have uh, this one is 2 sorry we have uh, we have 2 then we have 3, then we have 3 here, okay, then we subtract, now this lambda multiplies everything into the black uh, bracket, so you have uh, lambda 0, uh, then 0, then you have lambda. So then we subtract the two, matrix, uh, the two matrices, so basically you notice one thing, 4, we we'll have 4 minus lambda here, then we have 2 minus 0, which will just be 2, then we have 3 minus 0, is just 3, then 3 minus lambda remains as 3 minus lambda. Now, so we'll have our matrix, uh, so A minus lambda I will have, uh, will have 4 minus lambda, okay, now we can have that, we'll put an equal sign, so 4 minus lambda, 2 minus 0 is what? Is 2, then 3 minus 0 gives you 3, then you have 3 minus lambda just gives you 3 minus lambda. Now, remember, so this one is our matrix. So therefore the determinant of this matrix, so A minus lambda I absolute given by uh, not the absolute but the determinant is just the same as saying 4 minus so we have lambda okay then you have 2 then you have 3 then you have 3 minus lambda now it is the determinant for that okay now notice one thing so by default you notice A minus lambda I will always be given by the first the, uh, the, the elements in the main diagonal will be the elements which will only be subtracting the lambda so from this point directly from a minus lambda we can come from this point up to this point directly because you know what when we have a minus lambda i we we'll just have the main diagonal here subtracting out our lambda so it is 4 minus lambda this one remains this one remains then we have 3 minus 3 minus lambda. So we have this uh, part here. Now our equation says when you find the determinant now of this part, which is this, uh, then you get it to be equal to what? To be equal to zero. Now how do we find the determinant? So we put this. How do we find the determinant? You multiply the elements in the main diagonal, subtract the elements in the other diagonal. So it is this and this minus this like that. So therefore, and we quit it now to be equals to zero. So, uh, so we shall have. So the determinant for this, then as we put it to be equals to zero, we have 
4 minus lambda then 3 minus lambda then 3 times 2 gives you what? minus 6 now the whole of this we shall equate it to be equals to 0 so we can say now we put this one to be equals to 0 so we shall have now we can just expand this side we just have this so the determinant here will be given by this part then equals to 0 so we know how to just expand our term so it is this term multiplied by this this multiplied by that this multiplied by this and this multiplied by that so 4 times uh, 3 it gives us 12 4 times negative lambda negative 4 lambda 3 uh, negative lambda times 3 negative 3 lambda then negative lambda times negative lambda will give us positive lambda squared minus 6 then if it to be equals to 0 so we can start with the one that has the highest power that will be uh, lambda squared then you have uh, the second term that has lambda is minus 4 minus 3 which gives you minus minus 7 lambda okay then 6 minus uh, 12 minus 6 gives you what positive of uh, positive of 6 sorry uh, so positive of 6 which gives us 0 now from this remember now the values of lambda that you're going to be finding here will be your what will be your again the again values now you can see this one this one is a quadratic equation and you can solve it quadrat uh, quad uh, quadratically so you can solve you can use the quadratic formula or you can use factorization so in our case here we shall use factorization now we find two numbers when you multiply you get six when you add you get negative of negative of seven and we say uh, in, in our previous lesson is uh, that you should always be using the products so two numbers uh, which you multiply to get this number here so six can be written by six times one and it can also be achieved by uh, three times three times two but three times two cannot give you seven but six and one can give you a seven all right now so we shall negate the six and the one so we shall have negative six negative one when you add them it gives you negative seven then negative six times negative one so we're saying uh, two numbers so it is negative 6, negative of 1. So when you multiply this, it gives you a positive of 6. When you add these two, it gives you a negative of negative of 7. So we shall have lambda minus 6. We shall have lambda minus 1, which will give us 0. So we have those two numbers there. So therefore, for you to get the values of lambda, so it's either, now when you multiply two numbers and the answer is 0, it's either one of them was a 0. So it is either this one is equal to 0, but this term here gives us what? Gives us 0. So we shall have it's either lambda minus 6 equals to 0. So our value of lambda, take uh, your 6 to the other side, it becomes positive. So it gives you 6. Or we say lambda minus 1 equals to 0. So what will be your value of lambda? So lambda will be equals to 1. So we can say this one is our lambda 1, this one is our lambda 2. So now we have two values. So we have it's either lambda 1 equals to 6 or lambda 2 equals to 1. So we shall use these two values to get our corresponding again vectors. So we shall start with lambda 1. So lambda 1, so 4. We just say 4, lambda 1 equals to 6. So now we can remember the equation that we had written initially. So we have a minus lambda i then with your vector here so remember we want to get these vectors here so equals to zero so now replacing this place uh, this are uh, the values here we saw that this was giving us four minus lambda uh, then we had two all right then we have three then we have three minus lambda so we have that matrix then you will write this vector in terms of a matrix so we shall have x1 x2 because we have two two of them uh, then we shall have 0 and also and also 0, 0. So everything has to be written in form of a matrix. Okay? Now, so, but our lambda here, what is the value of lambda? Our lambda here is 6. So therefore 4, we replace our lambda with 6 and we also replace with 6. So 4 minus 6, what does it give us? Replacing 6 here, 4 minus 6 will give us negative of? Negative of 2. Okay? Uh, Okay, let me let me just write out what we really get what's happening. So we have four minus six, then we have two, then we have three, then we have three minus six, right? Then we have x one, x two. So we have that. Then equals to zero and what? And zero. So four minus six, uh, four minus six gives us negative of two. Then we have. 
2, then you have 3, then 3 minus 6 gives us what? Negative of, uh, negative of 3, then x1, x2, so you have that equals to 0 and what? 0 and 0. Now remember how to multiply a 2 by 2 matrix. So what is the order of this matrix? Is a 2 by 2, then this one is a what? Is a 2 by 1, so they are compatible, right? So they are compatible. So we multiply row, then column. So this times this, this times that, this times this, this times that. So, uh, so we shall have negative 2x1, so this times this, plus 2x2, give us what? Give us 0, or negative, uh, no, so this one is positive, so 3x1, right, minus 3x2 will give us 0. Now in our case here, we shall take any of the equation and use it to get the values of x1 and x2. Basically, because when you take any of the equation, your solution for x1 and x2 are always the same. They don't vary. So, we can say this one is the first one, uh, then this one is the second. So, we can choose one, uh, let's work with one. So, let's say, uh, using equation one, so using one, so using one, so we shall have negative 2x1 plus 2x2 equals to 0. So here we shall be making x2 the subject of the formula all through. So even in, when you're using the second equation, make x2 uh, the subject of the formula here. So we shall have 2x2, then we take uh, the negative of 2x1 on the other side. So it is negative, so it comes this other side, it becomes what? It becomes a positive. So 2 x1